Chris Ratcliffe asked, if you have an issue like gearbox, engine, etc., what are your first thoughts and actions as a driver? So this is actually a, a very common thing that happens when you're racing. Things go wrong with the car and they go wrong unexpectedly quite often. You know, you'll be concentrating on your braking point for the next corner. Maybe you're in the middle of a corner and something suddenly sounds wrong. You'll suddenly feel something extreme through the steering wheel and you need to process that and take the correct action. So more experienced drivers will understand and identify what the problem is immediately. And you're going to put that into one of two boxes, terminal, and I need to just get off of the racetrack and into a safe area, or a problem which is potentially fixable. And I just need to get off the racing line, try not to get hit from behind, and then continue back to the pits. Now, what happened with Sainz at Baku? I think he knew pretty straight away that that was something which wouldn't allow him to continue in the race. Uh, a major braking issue, and it looked like a brake by wire failure. That's not something at a high speed street circuit that you want to be hoping is going to be okay so when he got on the brakes he had no choice but to abort the corner he went straight on and very fortunately for him there was an escape route right there if that wasn't the case if he was in an area where he wasn't approaching an escape route like that the driver would be looking out for places to go places to escape to whether that's just onto the grass or looking for the orange line at the end of a barrier for those who don't know when you're looking at the armco barrier when there's a bright orange cap on the ends basically just painted that shows you where two barriers overlap, and that means that's a place where you can get a car uh, out of the way. The marshals can drag the car behind there. There's also probably a fire marshal at that point, so that's what they're for. If you're in the middle of a corner and you have something seriously go wrong, which is steering or suspension related, your first thought is actually not a thought at all. You're, you're subconsciously just going to control the car. So whatever happens, and it's often oversteer, say something fails at the rear, the car will be pitched into oversteer and the driver will just naturally correct that. They don't even have the option of thinking about it. That will just happen naturally. And from that moment onwards, you're then looking for somewhere safe to either park the car or you're just looking for a way to, to get off the racing line so you don't get hit by cars behind. But as I said at the beginning, you're going to be identifying, is this something that can be fixed in the pits? Do I need to try and limp back like you will have seen a lot of drivers at Le Mans at the weekend doing? Or just get the car off the track and get out as quick as possible. So that's what goes through the driver's mind.